raising. Um, if you know anything about the community in which that school sits, it actually is a place where kids are raised. I had great teachers at Huntington Middle School. Teachers that I go back and I visit. Teachers that gave me the opportunity to understand what it means to come from a normal home where you have two parents, what it means to think about going to college, what it means to live in a community that may be perceived in a lot of ways as an underserved or underrepresented or impoverished neighborhood. When I think about Huntington Middle School, I often realize that that is where I got my start. Before that, I went to Riverside Elementary School, which was way up in, a long ways away, about a 30 minute ride from where I live, from uh, the southeastern part of Newport News. But I realized that there was a kinship that I had when I went into Huntington Middle School. And so the question that we have to answer is that if we don't continue those decades of work, if we don't continue to realize that there's been a tremendous amount of pouring of love and care and concern in that school for decades, if we don't realize that, then the second that those doors close, all of that will be lost. And you might ask, well, what does Huntington Middle School produce? You know, myself, I'm running for a candidate for the become mayor of the city of Newport News, a city that I love. Mayor Price also went through Huntington. The same floors, the same walls that I went through. And today has produced a, a mayor. So we know that there's tremendous opportunity and potential for keeping those doors open. And the question that we will ask ourselves if we close it is what do we lose? And my hope is that we don't ever close those doors that we come up with an interim solution and a plan that will allow each one of us to look back on this decade from now and be proud of the decisions that we made. I thank you for your time.